right, in this video, I'm just going to show you guys um, how to start working IR Shell. First, go into your recovery menu and go down to plugins. And look in my install IR Shell video. That's how you install every file. We'll put them all on your PSP. And then this one shows you. I'm just going to show you how to install and all that. This should be IRS Auto Boot. Enable that. Then go back. Then exit out of recovery menu. And it's going to automatically pop on IR Shell. It's going to come up with your XMB a little bit. And then it's going to load right into IR Shell. As you see, I have a skin on it, so on your phone, I'll also give you a link for the skin packs. And this is what our shell looks like. It's pretty good. I recommend really get it. It's a really cool XMB thing. You can go back to your normal XMB. You can launch DevHook. You can manage your files. You can use USB, USB host. You can play games on your PC. You can net host, you can put files on your PSP wirelessly if you have wireless internet. Um, you can transfer files around here with that app. You can, well, game save, but you can always do. You could use IR remote instead of universal remote. Um, you can play applications, you can play MP3s in games. So that's pretty cool. Okay, this is one thing I had trouble with, but I finally figured out how to do it. If you want to launch an ISO or a CSO, just go to Directory View. Now go down to your, where your ISOs are. And Marvel Nemesis Rise and the Imperfect. Just click X. If it's saying, like, you have to have a UMD in it, just do this. If you just put this on and just install it, just go down to IR shell configuration. Um, go back. You can also put alarms on this, which is pretty cool. Okay. Now just go to UMD mode. Make sure it's MP3, no UMD. And it should work. If that doesn't, you need to have the um, patches in it. And to get the patches in it, you will need to do... Okay, just go to directory view. Go to your memory stick root and go to IR shell and go to homebrew 3x. Oh no, sorry, not the homebrew 3x. Go to patch and whatever firmware you have, do that. It supports up to 3.80. Say I have 3.80, just click it. They're in the btcnfpatch.prix. Run that one. Launch user application. Click X. Just says X to proceed or circle to abort. Then exit. Right now, go to Directory View, ISO, Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfect, and just click X on Normal Launch. 
and then that is how you launch an ISO or a CSO file. I'm just gonna play it for a little bit for you. And IO Shell is a good program, I would recommend to get it. Alright, there you go. Thanks for watching. Remember to watch how to install IR Shell.